Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy Poncho, back at you again with another video. Now, I did recently cover the SJ trial. Very briefly, there was a slight update. Today was the verdict day, whether he was found guilty or not guilty. I don't actually have an update on that. There's a little something that might hint towards that he's been sentenced to life. I can't confirm whether this is true or not, but I'll show you at the end of the video. So just bear with me and we've got a little bit of an update regarding the trial though. Now for you guys that don't know, SJ is currently on trial for his alleged involvement in the murder of Kamali Gabidian Link, who was 19 at the time, and he was stabbed to death in Woodgreen, London. I have covered the trial briefly, and I'll leave that video linked down in the description, feel free to check that out. The last update that we got regarding the trial was a couple days ago. It was heard in court that the defence had said that drum music is no more violent than the Beatles or the Rolling Stones. Prosecutors had claimed that the attackers wrote rap lyrics about the killer publishing a music video of themselves bragging about their violence after the murder. A few days ago, the defence counsel told jurors at the Old Bailey that the lyrics allegedly posed by the defendants were a red herring and said that using them amounted to a cosy, clean, midsummer murder style treatment of the facts. If you look at the definition for a red herring, a red herring is something that misleads or distracts from a relevant or important question. It may either be a logical fallacy or a literary device that leads readers or audiences towards a false conclusion. So what the defence here is trying to say is don't let the lyrics used in certain songs to push a certain agenda. Rather than looking at the evidence itself, they're looking at rap lyrics to try and persuade the jury to go a certain direction. And in this situation, it's irrelevant to the case. John Cooper defending a 17 year old who cannot be named, pretty sure this is SJ, quoted John Lennon and Mick Jagger in an attempt to illustrate his point. Citing the Beatles lyrics from Run For Your Life, he said, I'd rather see you dead, little girl, than be with another man. He went on to say, This is not a drill artist. This is Paul McCartney and John Lennon from the Beatles. It is an utter, utter red herring. It's not simply the domain of drill. Let's not presume to understand everyone's culture and everyone's musical genre. Drill might not be our cup of tea, but it is as indicative of violence as Paul McCartney and John Lennon. Next, Mr. Cooper read out the lyrics, I stick my knife down your throat, baby, and it hurts, and asked jurors which song it featured in. Informing them it was the Rolling Stones song, Midnight Rambler, he went on to say, This should be put in a box where it belongs, marked irrelevant. It's hard to get your head around the tragedy that runs right through this trial. It does not lend itself to cosy, clean, midsummer murder style analysis. Young black men gathering in a car park might be suggested in some way to be suspicious. It's not the case that a group of young black people in some way indicative of criminal activity. Oliver Glasgow QC prosecuting earlier on in the trial had said, The rivalry between the two groups has been a violent and bloody one, with each gang carrying out attacks on their rivals and then boasting about it online. These defendants have even boasted about the death of Mr. Gabidian Link in rap lyrics. Life, it would appear, has little value to them, and is something to be taken away for almost no reason, and then to be subject of cruel and offensive bragging. The lyrics in the drill rap said, The MPK got their Rambos out, they were wiping Woodgreen off the map. And that's all we have so far regarding the trial. Now today was the trial verdict day. Now I don't actually have any public information about that, but we do have a Snapchat post from Bando K. My brother got life. He called most days. I know what to tell them with a sad face and two hearts. Now I don't know whether this is directed at SJ, because like I said, the verdict day was today and it was a bit weird how he'd put something up like that. Maybe he knows something that we don't know yet. But then again, surely it'd be out in the news because this was such a big case around the wood green area. I'm pretty sure there would have been more information out out there about it but like i said as soon as i get an update as always i'll let you guys know and when we get more details about the trial itself i will be breaking that down in another video but yeah let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section below give the video a little like i'm trying to hit 1k subscribers by the end of the year so i'd appreciate it if you're new around here if you could hit the subscribe button and the notification bell spin your boy at poncho